Our next presenter is a brilliant comedian. Or is he the junior senator from Minnesota? Let's just say he's both, and we are supremely lucky to have him on the front lines in Washington. Please, everybody, welcome Senator Al Franken. Thank you. Good evening. Oh, no, no. No, save it for the end. Save it for the end. Uh, it, is, it is my honor tonight to present the George Foster Peabody Award to the writers, actors, and producers of Veep, a hilarious TV comedy about American politics. I believe that uh, I was uh, asked to do this because I'm, before I was a United States Senator, I used to write and, and, and perform and sometimes produce a comedy for television, and as a matter of fact, I used to work with a number of the supremely talented people who make Veep the brilliant show that it is. And to my uh, former colleagues who are still making millions of Americans laugh, do not think for a moment that what you do is any less important than what I do even though it is. <laughs> this Peabody uh, honors last season's Veep, in which the ingenious Julia Louis-Dreyfus plays a lying... <laughs> she is ingenious, plays a lying, narcissistic, President of the United States, <laughs> surrounded by a gang of craven, incompetent, and shamelessly dishonest hangers on. <laughs> Remind you of anything? Yes, of course, I'm talking about the woefully in incompetent, blatantly corrupt George Foster Peabody Awards. The Henry W. Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communications at the University of Georgia, which administers the award, and in fact, the president of the University of Georgia, the vain and demented Jerry Moorhead. Yes, I'm afraid that the Peabody fish stinks from the head. <laughs> I'm sorry to seem ungracious, but I just think it would be hip hypocritical of me not to honor Veep by speaking truth to power, <laughs> even if some may think of me as a nut job for doing it. <laughs> so, But enough about Veep's stinging and eerily prescient satirical commentary on the University of Georgia. <laughs> Please join me in presenting the George Foster Peabody Award to Veep. It's Veep. <laughs> Winner's Veep. Fantastic speech, ma'am. Yeah. Three S's, there strength, stability, and bull. Yeah, I forgot to thank the voters for making our country look like a high school Spanish club. Everyone's here. This is your temporary mobile oval. I'm sorry, is there a kettle or a clothing steamer in here? No. Okay, this is going to be quite the day. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! This endless recap's got oh, show! God, that's hey, a great hey. chance. Just catchy. So, what does that entail? You know, the pulling of the plug? There's not really a plug. We would be tracking her vitals and that. It's okay, us. Catherine. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, well, that, that is loud, honey. That's loud. Oh, Stephen Hawking here is indisposed, so I just... The president is tweeting. She's tweeting. I pushed the, I the feather button. I know. You tweet. Oh, no, that's a tweet. Well, then delete it. Delete it. It's impossible. Just delete, Don't delete it. it. Maybe I'll get assassinated. Vape. Let's hear it for Veep! 
Here to accept the Peabody Award is Timothy Simons and Julia Louis-Dreyfus for Veep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to Senator Franken for honoring us tonight with his presence. We wish him the best of luck in the weeks and months and years ahead, preferably weeks. <clears throat> um, I have been fortunate enough at Veep to be the recipient of several awards for my performance as Selena Meyer. And as a member of the ensemble, I too obliquely have been recognized. Okay, so. <clears throat> Tim using the word obliquely is appropriate only because here at the Peabody Awards, the Peabodies are the only awards with the intellectual capacity to understand the word obliquely and recognize that Veep is not just funny. But it's incomparably, inordinately, prodigiously funny. Okay, indeed it is. But that Veep also functions on a deeper level. You understand that our sacred duty, unaffected by the occupant of the White House or any other office, is to hold those officials accountable without fear or favor, in the abiding hope that giving the American public the truth through satire is our final obligation. And to that end, we would like to recognize the writers of Veep yes. for their ability to weave complex political and social theory into their comedy. Here are some examples <laughs> in actual dialogue from our show, Veep, that you are so kindly honoring here tonight. Let me give you some advice before you're yanked out of here like a cheerleader's unwanted fetus. I will have my administration come to your shitty little district and shake it to death like a Guatemalan nanny. And then I'm going to have the IRS crawl so far up your husband's colon, he's going to wish the only thing they find is more cancer. I'm eating so much I'm shitting You know... I got to say, you know, um, yeah. hearing... Hearing this out loud... When you hear it out loud, it just... Um, we, uh, we really do totally understand uh, if you want to take this award back. If you just want to take you know, it back, just, honestly, that makes sense. I, I do. I feel bad about this awful language. The language is foul. Yeah. Um, so, so, so sorry. So um, we so can just give this to we'll somebody else. We can, oh, here. Oh, hey. We'll give it to you. So to congratulations, Senator Franken. Senator, congratulations to congratulations Senator, Franken. Senator Franken. Thank you very much. The Peabody Award. For Veep, it's yours, it's yours.